What is up everyone, JD here. Hope you're doing well today. We're gonna to be jumping into the Sharp by Design Evo Typhoon. Very excited to go into this review. This is the full size variant. Let's get into it. So what we're going to do today is size comparisons, then we'll do some profile comparison. We'll check the weight real quick on, quick on this one because I think it is a little bit heavier. And then I'll jump into thoughts and impressions of the full sized Sharp by Design Evo Typhoon. We're going to kick it off with the Para 3. This one here is a little bit smaller, 3 inch knife, full size handle, very good size. And then we'll bring out the full size Spyderco Shaman. And as you can see, this is actually comparable to the Spyderco Shaman. There is a difference between the Evo and the Mini, and we'll get into that in just a little bit. I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and check it out against the Benchmade Bugout, which is more of a medium-sized knife. The Mini Evo is kind of just inside of this one here. If you refer to the other video, you'll see where it's just a little bit smaller, more of that medium size, not quite that large size. And then I'm gonna bring out the TRM Atom. And this is gonna be another good full-size comparison but as you can see the full-size evo is actually larger than the trm atom which i think is very interesting and i just realized i'm a little off center here i'm going to move you guys back into center on that face cam if anybody <laughs> anybody actually looks at that and uh i forgot to grab my budget knives give me one second all right so for the full size we're going to do the kubi titius this one here is the 14c 28n titanium variant as you can see this is actually smaller than the full size evo and then we're going to bring out the pony stout i love this this is a great small knife fifth pocket pouches really great knife for that but as you can see this one is definitely larger than both and we'll do thickness profile comparison because this is actually very slender and i don't think people realize how slender the tds is as you can see the evo not looking at the pivot it's a little hard not to look at the pivot but i think overall it's a little bit more girthy and we'll compare it to the atom which is going to be thicker than the Atom and the Shaman. So you can see has just a little bit more thickness on the Shaman. And let's check the weight of this out because I believe this is five ounces. So it is a little bit heavier, but I think it is because the thickness of the scales on this and it's a little harder to do with that flipper tab. So coming in at what did I say, five? I meant to say four ounces. Coming in at 3.9, which isn't awful, especially when you take into consideration the Shaman comes in at over five ounces, and the Tidious comes in around four and a half ounces as well. Five ounces, that's right, I couldn't remember. So this is definitely lighter than both of them, but it feels heavy for the proportions, I guess. Like when you have it in the hand, you notice the weight on it. Um, the Ergos on this, I like the mini Evo, but it's a little small and I hang off the back just a little bit. This one here, you see I have actual room left over. So this is absolutely a full size knife. Very well built, very nicely done. I love the contouring on it. Um, I do feel a little bit of the sharpness from the pocket clip, but that's with any sharp by design knife. The pocket clip is very tight to the knife. You need to kind of work it and bend it out. It doesn't become a tapper, but it does work out. On my Mini Tempest, what I ended up doing is just taking the rotary, and I think I took like a very high grit sandpaper and just worked it down the nub, nub just a little bit to round it a little bit more. And then I took a little bit of the thickness on the very edge out, and now it goes in and out of the pocket nicely. So I kind of need to do the same thing with this one. The Sharp by Design detent nub or system is really, really nice. It holds the blade in place and it snaps out really crispy. Now this fuller is not meant to be used as a fuller. You have to really kind of push in hard with the large hands to get in there if you wanna do that reverse flick. It can be done and the first time as you saw when I missed, it is a little bit of a challenge but you gotta get in there and if you don't, it hurts. It really hurts and it'll start to rip at the meat but it's not meant for that. This is just a flipper only knife, unlike the Mini Tempest, which has the top flipper and it has an actual functioning fuller. The transitions are really smooth on this. You have the shred carbon fiber. On the Mini Evo, you just have the twill. 
So the base model has 12 carbon fiber on the full size. You'll notice they have the shred. So if you ever see them listed on the secondary market and they just say Evo Typhoon, pay attention to that. Because if you if they don't specify that it's an older one, because the older one does have the 12 carbon fiber, if they say it's on a recent drop and they say Evo Typhoon and you see the 12, it's actually a mini. And I have seen that on some listings where they don't clarify because I clicked in to see how much they're selling for. Just curious on the secondhand market because they're not available anymore. And I can see the twill. Also with this one, I think you could only get it in clip point and drop point. I don't think on the recent drop they had the harpoon unless you got it with the black. So the black coated with the, um, I think it was the dark matter gold carbon fiber. And my, my editor will have to correct me on that if I got that wrong that it had that. And I think it also had it on that uh, really gnarly shredded. That's really cool looking. I almost went for that because it's so different, but ultimately I just wanted the classier look, something full size that I could carry, but also something that was very classy looking, um, very tasteful, especially when closed up. That's not gonna be highly offensive. So it could kind of flex into like a gentleman's carry and not just an everyday carry. This one here, because it is a production knife, I have no hesitations with everyday carrying it. If it were the custom, which would be significantly more expensive to get from Brian directly, um, that would probably be something I don't carry as often, more special occasion type things, because those don't come around as often. One thing I do want to note, this came with a very good factory edge. The drop point is just like any other drop point, very useful for puncture task. It has plenty of belly for cutting through materials, no issues whatsoever. I mean, just razor, razor sharp edge, just really well done. Sorry, I caught the fuller there. I gotta be careful, I forgot the fuller is a little bit, you gotta, you can't kinda catch it in here. You wanna make sure that you are, you know, completely in the blade path and it's super super slicey and i mean just, that's still the factory edge on it um and it's performed really well uh, i've opened stuff more so than i do breaking things down with this one i think i think i broke a small box down with this when i was carrying it did i carry this for titanium tuesday this past tuesday i want to say that i did and i had a small box and i think i used this to break that down so i feel like riot does a really good job with the m390 um, let me throw this in this box down here. And uh, I do like that from them. Something interesting to note as well, very thin behind the edge. I love the belt satin finish on here. It looks really good. And the fuller design on here looks good. Jimping works really well on this as well. Very aggressive jimping. Um, not overly aggressive, but it's more of that aggressive style where it's going to be less likely that you slip on it. I keep saying, interesting to note, this actually takes the six millimeter bearing, I think it's 13 ball, and you'll have to look back to my unboxing because I did the install right there, as opposed to the five millimeter, which fits the pivot, but it had a little bit of play and it wiggled. But when you go with the six millimeter pivot, the outer diameter actually fits almost flush, just like the factory bearing, so it doesn't move. So it's not sitting directly on top of the pivot. It's more out but it actually fits better and you get more deep bearings in the pivot there for it to ride on. So it just feels even smoother and I really like that a lot. It has remained centered. This one here actually, uh, I do apologize. It, it kept coming out of center and I ended up having to set it with thread locker overnight and it has remained centered since. It hasn't backed out. But this one here, I think the tolerances are just so tight that when you're opening it, it is kind of grabbing and wanting to force spin the pivot a little bit. So the pivot screw would back out a little bit. Really like this one a lot, but it's not available. And you know, it's kind of a more of expensive piece coming in from overseas. What I would recommend to you is I would recommend taking a look at the TRM Atom, even if you don't like the titanium and it is a little bit smaller, but you don't have that flipper tab in the way. So you ended up getting a nice full grip with plenty of space left over. You're getting 20 CV and a very slicey blade. And when you look at these, you can tell that the TRM is actually much more slicey. It is on washers, it's not on bearings, but they can get very smooth action where it's very easy to open and close them. Now, it doesn't 
mine at least hasn't gotten to the point where I can close it very easily. You want to come in nice and tight here too. I just actually hit the nail a little bit there because it doesn't have the flipper tab to kind of catch it. But if you come in here and then you just give it a couple of shakes, it will go home, but it has to be like a slam shake. It's not, it's not like you can just, you know what I'm saying? You got to give it a little bit of force to go. Alternatively, and this one here probably could stand to have the pivot tightened just a little bit because it does have more side to side play than that Adam does. But I think that Adam would cl drop close if I did give it that little bit of, you know, play that you get on phosphor bond washer knives. But that alternative recommendation, oops, my finger just slipped. It slipped off the top, which is a complaint I have about this one is the thumb studs. But USA made coming in for less than you would have paid for the Evo is going to be the Tactile Maverick. And they start at 250 bucks with the Micarta. And I have a feeling if these gain in popularity, You'll probably see like Applied Weapons Tech, RGT, I hope, um, RC Blade Works probably start to make scales for this one. But I don't know if those scales are going to be as detailed as this. So these do have that micro milling in them and it does really play with the light and it adds ergonomics on here. But out of the two that I've tried, the Micarta felt more flexy. It had a little bit more play in it than I would have wanted coming from a factory knife. Whereas the titanium added so much weight on the back end, it felt back heavy. The carbon fiber giving you that strength, but not the flex that you get in the micarta and not the additional weight that you're getting with the titanium. So this one happens to be my favorite variant. And if they start to make aftermarket scales, I would tell people just to go after the micarta one, unless you absolutely want to have all of the titanium hardware, which and if you're not into anodizing or anything like that, it's only going to save a little bit of weight over the steel because it's such small pieces. It's such a small negligible amount that it's adding onto there. I would say the only thing is, I think the pocket clip is steel instead of titanium. I believe this. I don't know that I ever checked it. Yeah, titanium. All of it's titanium. Uh, the steel hardware is picking up on that, but it is titanium hardware on here. Titanium there as well. But this is a better deal, in my opinion, um, than what you're getting from this. But this is coming from a designer, a custom maker and it's a very small batch and it's not even available anymore but i really like this um, i like this because it's the full size i like the way that 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 flipper tab just absolutely works it is a light switch flipper tab that just nestles the finger and man it just fires you hear those sounds Just very clicky clacky, very cool sounds to it. What are your thoughts on this? The full size, not the mini. When we're talking about it, talking about the full size. Now, people with medium hands, you're gonna want the mini, and the mini's gonna be a better deal for you, 100%. And I think it even had more options than what that full size. This one, I believe, was a River Edge Cutlery exclusive. I think that's right. Um, and you know, they ordered plenty, but they're they're gone. You know, you might be able to find some on the secondary market for some folks that didn't want them and they're going to probably sell for what the mini sells for new. So just keep that in mind. But I am curious to hear your thoughts on this one down in the comments. Let me know. Shout out to everyone out there that leaves the likes, that comments and is subscribed. I appreciate all the support. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time. Peace.